Before we demo a multi-cloud universal data distribution service, let's first set up the use case context. A multinational retail company wants to collect data from point of sale systems across the globe and distribute them to multiple cloud services. They have six key requirements. Requirement number one, the company has thousands of point of sale systems and need a scalable way to collect data in streaming mode. Requirement number two, developers need an agile, low code approach to developing edge data collection flows in different regions and easily deploy them to thousands of point of sale systems. Requirement number three, data residency requirements. The POS data and the processing of that data cannot occur outside the region of origination until that data has been redacted based on local geo rules. Requirement number four, these different geo rules require the use of different cloud providers and the need to be able to process data in different regions. Requirement number five, given the distributive nature of the requirements, centralized monitoring across regions and cloud providers is critical. And lastly, requirement number six, need the ability to deliver data to diverse destinations and services including cloud provider analytic services, Snowflake, and Kafka without requiring multiple point solutions. Let's jump into the demo and see how these requirements are implemented with Cloudera Dataflow. We start at the home page of CDP Public Cloud. The first step is to develop a NiFi data distribution flow using the Data Hub service in CDP Public Cloud. Let's navigate to the NiFi UI. On the NiFi canvas, we already have a flow developed. The start of the flow is the inbound gateway using the Listen HTTP processor that POS clients can send data to. Let's look at the configuration for the Listen HTTP processor. Notice that I have a base path configured and a parameterized Listen port that clients can use to send data to. The POS data is then routed, filtered, and redacted before delivering to Snowflake and CDP Kafka. Let's open up the configuration for the Snowflake Put Database Record Processor. In the latest CDF Public Cloud release, we have introduced a new connection pooling controller service for Snowflake. Let's open up the configuration. You can see that the user ID and password to Snowflake are parameterized. The controller service will automatically download the Snowflake driver and optimize the connection pool to make it very easy to send data to Snowflake in an optimized way. The flow also sends data to CDP Kafka. Opening up the configuration, you can see the parameterized values for the topics that we are sending data to. Now that we have the flow developed, we will download the flow and use a CDF public cloud service to import it into the catalog and deploy the flow onto a containerized NiFi cluster. Let's now go into the data flow service. And before we deploy the application we just reviewed, let's quickly take a peek at the ReadyFlow gallery. The Readyful Gallery has common use cases out of the box that include connecting to CDP data sources, such as Kudu or to Kafka, but also includes third-party data services, including Azure Event Hub, Confluent Cloud, and we even introduce being able to deliver to Snowflake out of the box. We won't use the Readyful Gallery, but rather import the flow we developed in Data Hub into the catalog. Let's give that flow a name. Let's give it a description and let's upload the flow that we downloaded earlier. Once the file is uploaded, let's go ahead and import that into the catalog. And now that it's in the catalog, we can now start the deployment process of actually deploying this onto a Kubernetes NiFi cluster. The first step is to select the target environment to deploy to. I can select across multiple cloud providers and across different regions. Let's select the Azure provider in the EMEA region. The next step is to provide an application name. This application we are about to deploy will be the data distribution gateway for all point of sale data created in the EMEA region. In the next step, we will configure an ingress gateway since the NiFi flow uses the Listen HTTP processor to receive events. You have two options. You can create a new endpoint for the ingress or select from an existing set of endpoints you've created in the past. Let's select an already created endpoint.
Inbound Connections is a new feature in CDF Public Cloud that makes it easy to configure ingress endpoints, abstracting away the complexities that are cloud provider specific, including creation of load balancers, DNS records, and certificates. In the next step, we configure the various parameters required for the application. Here we have the Kafka broker endpoint configuration, the password to connect to the Kafka cluster service, information regarding the Snowflake endpoint URL, as well as configuring the Snowflake user ID and password. In the next step, we configure the container size for each NiFi node and the autoscale properties. In the final step, we can configure various KPIs that we want to alert on. Let's monitor the inbound gateway by creating a KPI at the processor level for the Listen HTTP processor. We want to configure an alert when we see a high volume of HTTP requests that NiFi starts to throttle via the bytes queued metrics. We'll configure the alert such that if we see 100 megabytes queued up over a two hour interval, then we get alerted on. Let's review the deployment configuration and click deploy. During the deployment process, the CDF public cloud will spin up new NiFi pods in the Kubernetes cluster, allocate an inbound connection endpoint by creating a load balancer that acts as an ingress gateway for the NiFi cluster using the underlying cloud provider, provision the NiFi cluster, and then start to deploy the flows with the KPIs and start the flow. We see that the deployment has been successful. Let's go take a peek at the NiFi deployment. On the NiFi configuration tab, you can see the endpoint host name for the ingress gateway that the clients can connect to, as well as the key store start and private keys that clients use to authenticate with the gateway. Let's download these, which we'll use to configure the POS Edge client. Now let's check out the deployed NiFi flow. We see that the entire flow is up and running with no data being processed yet. We will now use Cloudera Edge Management to build and deploy an Edge flow that collects the POS data and send data to this data distribution point. Cloudera Edge Management allows us to build and deploy different edge flows to collect data from the regional POS terminals. We have different agent classes for each of the regions we're collecting POS data from. Let's view the configuration of the EMEA point of sales agent class and find all the edge agents collecting data in this region. Let's take a look. We have one agent class running at the POS location in EMEA. Let's view the details of the EMEA agent. The new agent management view allows users to have more control and visibility over the agents. It provides detailed agent info along with alerts and command execution support against the agents. Now that we've covered the agent management capabilities, let's now develop an edge data collection flow. In the design view, let's open up the EMEA agent class. Before we take a look at the edge flow, let's configure the SSL contact service that will allow the application to connect to the data distribution gateway endpoint. The service requires the gateway certificate and private key we had downloaded earlier. After we've configured the client cert and private key, we can now design and deploy the edge flow. This flow, which will run on the edge where the POS data is being generated, will listen for and fetch new streaming POS files and stream to the gateway endpoint using the Invoke HTTP processor. Let's open up the processor configuration. We will configure two properties in this processor. First, the SSL contact service that we defined earlier for this client to authenticate to the ingress gateway endpoint. Second, let's configure the data distribution gateway endpoint URL, which we can retrieve from the deployment settings section in the NiFi configuration tab. We will copy the endpoint host and update it with the path info. And click apply. Now that we've finished developing the edge flow, let's publish this flow to all the agents associated with the EMEA agent class. Let's use the monitor view to confirm that the updated flow has been picked up by the EMEA agents. We see that the flow has been updated. 
Now let's go back to the data distribution flow we deployed earlier to see if data is being sent to the distribution gateway endpoint. We see data coming in. Let's use NiFi's data provenance capabilities to peek at the incoming event. Here's a sample of the POS event data from EMEA. We see the EMEA POS data streaming in that is routed and filtered for, before being sent to a centralized Snowflake and CDP Kafka service that runs outside the region of data origination. Finally, let's look at the dashboard monitoring view in the CDF Public Cloud data service. We see two NiFi flows running. The EMEA flow that we just deployed where all the EMEA POS agents will send data to and the US POS gateway flow. Opening up the US flow, see that it is running in the AWS cloud provider in the US West region. And opening up the EMEA flow, you see the flow we just deployed on Azure in the EMEA region. Looking at the data throughput graphs, both endpoints are receiving POS data. The dashboard view in CDF Public Cloud provides a centralized view of all data distribution flows across multiple cloud providers and regions. Let's quickly summarize the key points of the demo and tie it back to our six use case requirements. We used Cloudera Edge Management to develop edge data collection flows that ingest the POS data as close to the data origination as possible and stream the data back to the distribution service. The latest release of CEM not only provides flow management capabilities, but advanced agent management and monitoring. The decentralized streaming data collection approach addresses the scale and agility needs of requirements one and two. Each POS Minify agent will stream data to a distribution flow powered by CDF for public cloud. The distribution flow will run in the region and cloud provider as dictated by the geo that the POS data originates from. This addresses the data residency and process anywhere needs of requirements three and four. Double clicking on one of these data distribution NIFI flows, we see it consists of three components, ingest, process, and distribute. Since we have hundreds of thousands of clients generating POS data, Using a connector to connect to each of these clients is not a scalable model. We showed that the latest CDF public cloud release now supports setting up an ingress gateway across any cloud provider in a matter of few clicks that will automate the creation of load balancers, DNS records, and certificates. The ingress gateway allows each POS client to stream data into this gateway endpoint. Once the data reaches the ingress gateway, the NIFI distribution flow will perform routing, filtering, and redaction before delivering to downstream services, including Cloudera Streams Processing and Snowflake, addressing requirement six. In the latest release of CDF Public Cloud, we have made ingesting into Snowflake easier with the new Snowflake Connection Pool Controller service. Finally, CDF for Public Cloud and Cloudera Edge Management provides a centralized monitoring and management view across all edge agents and regional data distribution flows across multiple cloud providers, addressing requirement five around a centralized view of the distributed assets. In summary, CDF for the public cloud provides a universal, hybrid, and multi-cloud data distribution service that is essential for every modern stack.